My name is Maria Mina, former Member of Parliament for the Riding of Beaches East York and former Minister for International Cooperation. And today I am also the Chair of the Greater Toronto Area Liberals called GTA Liberals. Today's event is to discuss the uh, horrible direction that our immigration system has taken under the Conservative government. Um, so we are here to address the issue of immigration and how it's changed in the last number of years and the direction that we think it ought to be going. And we want to make sure that the some of the horrible direction that it's going. For instance, one of them, we used to bring immigrants to Canada. That's how I got here with my family, my father. We used to bring them here as immigrants, families, reunification, to build a life and build a country, which, which we have, many of us, and build businesses, investment, and so on. And that's what's build our economy, build this country. But now, instead, a very large, a lot larger number of people are coming in only as temporary workers. The emphasis on temporary workers, uh, the Harper government has also allowed them to, employers, to pay 15% less than the average wage in Canada, that's exploitation, and taking jobs. Uh, so, yes, temporary workers are needed, but only for areas where there's a shortage of labor. We have a high unemployment rate in Canada right now, so the focus should be on immigration, on bringing people in, reuniting families. The fact that a person could no longer bring in uh, uh, their parents to this country without uh, going into huge amount of cost uh, means that is, is not acceptable. So the true unification is not there. I can't imagine growing up without my mother here or my sisters and my brothers and my nieces and nephews are all part of my family. We are a whole family. When there's a problem, if there's any difficulties, we look to each other, we support each other. We cannot continue to use immigration as a way to exploit foreign workers, rather, as we had traditionally, which is the positive way, that is to bring in immigrants to give who, who settle in this country, who make this country their, uh, theirs and ours, and their children make it theirs and ours, and they build uh, businesses, they build careers, they invent, they become doctors and inventors and innovators. They are... I mean, look around Toronto, uh, for instance. Uh, nearly 60% of the population is are visible minority people and I'm in the city of Toronto. We are. Uh, I'm not. I'm of Italian background. I came to Canada as an immigrant from Italy as a child. But when we put ourselves all together, we are the force and the engine that has built this country over the last 30, 50 years. And what we're doing now with immigration is totally unacceptable. It is causing hardship to people, suffering, it is keeping families apart, and it is, it is not helping Canada or Canada's economy. The solution is to go back to um, bringing in a proper number of immigrants at the end of the year, uh, each year. Any temporary workers we have in the country should be only for those jobs that, that truly have a shortage of labor, like some of the seasonal work we had, and then and in some of the construction areas and other places, and give people the right or the ability to uh, apply to become landed in this country as well. And also to make it much easier and more and more accessible to be able to reunite with family, especially immediate children and wives. That used to be within six months. You could get your wife or husband here with your children. Now it takes sometimes up to three years. It's ridiculous. Uh, so that's not acceptable.